Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, I'd like to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, with Kakadash, and double honesty those great meals on my lunch is true. And also to the hopeful elect that is scattered abroad, I'd like to say shalom. And come back here today with another great and powerful lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. The type of day lesson is the Lord will punish the men that are settled on their leaves. So I'd like to say shalom to all our listeners learn. Hope this will help you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So a lot of people are not disturbed. A lot of people are not weary. A lot of people are at ease, you know, comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Const uh, doing the things of the world, going on in the ways of the world. You know what I'm saying? Constantly turning back on Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, these mandates are coming uh, back down the pipeline. They are reinstating, you know, the mandatory, you know what? And that advises me, you know, a lot of people are still, uh, uh, are not disturbed, you know, still are not aware. And we're in that time of trouble that we have never seen before. Uh, you know, they, they talking about uh, food shortage, you know, water shortage. Starvation is coming back in a big way. So people are still at ease, you know, but the men of the Lord, we are in the house of mourning. And that's about, we're signing and crying left and right. But a lot of men, which in fact are the two third, you know what I'm saying? They're constantly, you know, uh, showing no regard. And that's about not considering. And that's about, we are in that evil time, an evil time that we have never seen before. We constantly warn you left and right. A lot of are still in tradition of, of men, still in these false doctrines, still thinking that everyone can be saved, thinking that the Lord is coming back from everyone. Salvation is only for Israel. We constantly warn you left and right, went over and over and over again, but they are reprobates and they are useless eaters and the Lord is getting ready to destroy them. So the title of the day lesson, once again, is the Lord will punish the men that are settled on their leagues. So we get started with the title of the day lesson. We'll go to Zephaniah chapter one, and verse 12, we'll start up here. And it reads, And it shall come to pass at, at that time that I will search Jerusalem with, with candles and punish the men that are settled in their on their leaves, that say in their hearts, The Lord will not do good, neither will he uh, do evil. You know, those are the ones, oh, the world is not coming to the end. Oh, it's not World War Three. You know, the MOTB is not here. You know, the, you know what is good for you. You know, keep saying that, you know, the, the Lord loved everyone, you know, salvation for everyone. You know what I'm saying? So they're, they constantly, you know, going in, in the ways of the world. You know, they don't have no light in them because the God of this world has blinded them. And that's about it. You know, they're walking in great, great pride, you know, and uh, we constantly warn them left and right. They're constantly uh, selling, you know, they're constantly comfortable. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they're, you know, they're relaxing. They're constantly sleeping. And that about it, you know, they have that strong delusion of, you know, and the Lord is letting them believe a lie. You know, they're just straight reprobates. And that about it, oh, the Lord is not going to do anything. He's he going to come back. He love everyone. You know what I'm saying? He's not going to destroy the earth with fire. Everything is going to be all right. Just pray to the Lord. You can be a homosexual, a murderer, beast and alley, whatever you have done, the Lord will forgive you for. It. You know what I'm saying? So everyone can receive salvation. That's what they're telling you. They're at, they're in their own leagues and that is about not disturbed, not worried, at ease. And that is about, the Lord said, we come like a thief in the night. And that is about, the Lord is getting ready to lay this place down with fervent heat. And we warning you left and right. So now let's get another quick precept before we open up the lesson. Let's go to uh, 1 Peter. One moment. Let's go to 1 Peter chapter, one moment. 1 Peter chapter 4, 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 17. And this is the time that we're living in. And it reads, for the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of the Lord. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah? So that about what will be the end of them? They will be destroyed in that second death. They will know it death by pain. So they constantly at ease, still are not worried, you know, not disturbed, you know, not trying to seek the Lord. You know, they constantly playing games, still thinking that this is a game. And that's about it. It's, it's almost over. And that's about it. Keep bringing these, you know, food shortages once again, water shortage, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 cyber attacks, all these things are coming upon us. All these evils are constantly growing. But a lot of two thirds, they still are at, at, at ease. You know, they constantly thinking, oh, it's nothing to worry about. Everything is fine because you know why? They do not fear the Lord. And that's about it. Said, First, my judgment will start at the house of Israel. And that's about it. At, at his own people. And that's about it. The Negro, the, 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 the Latino, the Mexican, the Latinos. And that's about it. It's time to seek the Lord. Why he can't be found. Time to come under total subjection. 
to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah. So a lot of people are still in the house of Mer. And that's about, you get ready, uh, 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 you're in for a rude awakening because the Lord is getting ready to destroy this place. Now, I, you're comfortable right now. You're eating good because I don't see what they're talking about. What are they talking about? I don't, I don't see nothing with it. You will believe it very soon. And that's about, the Lord said, in that day, they shall know that a prophet was among them. So now, let's go to Proverbs chapter uh, Proverbs chapter 1. Just a quick lesson through the Spirit. Uh, Proverbs chapter 1. One moment. Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 1. And we'll start up at verse, <clears throat> verse 22. Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 22. We'll start up here. And it reads, How long, ye simple one, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate not. And that's about how long these uh, uh, simple Negroes and, and simple Negro women, how long will you love simplicity, all this wickedness, all this darkness? And that's about that, you know, you love all this evil. You know, you run to it. You love it here. You know, you strive it here. And that's about not considering. You don't even know who you are. You're constantly following the ways of, of the Gentile. And, about, and love the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. How long? And that's about you hate knowledge. You, you don't fear the Lord. And that's about the Lord's getting ready to return while you at, at in, in your leads, which in fact, you're relaxing, having a good time. The Lord's going to catch you. You know what I'm saying? He will come like a thief in the night. Hey, with the great dear Lord is fast approach. We're constantly warning you right now. It's time to seek the Lord. So now let's start back up. Proverbs chapter 1, we start back up at verse 23. Turn you my reproof. Turn to turn turn to my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Uh, verse 24, because I have called and ye refused. I have stretched out my hands and no man regard. And I about how is he stretching his hands out? Through the prophets, you know, through the mouthpiece of Yahweh, by Shimi Yahweh, making these videos. Uh, and how he's in byways. These, you know what I'm saying? Every day, you know, a lesson is going out. Now everybody, you know, still are not showing no regard. Still are at ease, still are relaxing, still are drinking and being merry as of the days of old. And now everybody, there is nothing new under the sun. We're cussing the warning you left and right. The Lord is getting ready to come back and catch a lot of people, you know, uh, unaware, going to catch them in that snare. And now everybody, you know, the gospel has been preached. It's constantly going out through the four corners of the earth. It's time to get this truth. And I did about it, the, you know, the great dead Lord is fast approaching. And I did about it, death and destruction is right upon it. You know, Jacob's trouble. We're at the beginning of sorrow. So now let's start back up. Proverbs chapter one. We'll start back up one moment. We'll start back up at verse 26. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock. One moment. Yeah. Let's start back up. Proverbs chapter one and verse 26. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fears come. Verse 27, when your fears come as a desolation and destruction comes as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish comes upon you. Verse 28, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Verse 29, for, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. And that's about it. They're not choosing that way right now because they're not seeing anything. They can What are they talking about? Food shop. We eating good. I'm drinking good. I'm eating good. You know. I'm. You know. I. I still help things. You know. I. I. I help uh, my cars. I help. You know. My family. They are fine. But that's about it. The Lord said all of a sudden. And that's about it. You know. You unbelieving. And that's about you constantly scoffing and mock. You. You know. Say that's the way the Lord. You know. You thinking that everything is fine here. Because, you know, you have been blinded from the left hand side. And we constantly warn you, right now, it's time to, you know what I'm saying, get up off your ass and do something for the Lord. But a lot of our people don't want to do anything for the Lord. They don't even want to make a little five or ten minute video. You know, they constantly just at ease, drinking and being married. Want to watch TV. Want to uh, go out and do wickedness. And I did about it. It is time to seek the Lord and come under total subjection to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And a lot of our people do not fear the Lord. That's why he said, first my judgment will start at the house of Israel. Simple Negroes, uh, men and simple Negro women. The Lord is getting ready to return and cleanse this place. And I did about it. All this wickedness is getting ready to see. So now, let's go to Amos one moment. Let's go to Amos chapter 8 one moment. Just a quick lesson. Amos chapter 8 one moment. Amos chapter 8. And we'll start at verse 11. Amos chapter 8 and verse 11. And it reads, Behold, the day come, says, says the Most High, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor of thirst, 
for water, but the hearing the words of the Lord. Verse 12, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from, from the north even to the east. They shall run uh, and, and they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. And that's about, we're coming upon that time. You know, just like we tell you about these cyber attacks. So the internet will be down. Your cell phone will be down. And that's about, it. the truth will be pulled out of this world. And that's about, it. the middle of the Lord, you know, the Lord is going to hit. You're going to put them in that secret place. And that's about, it. you will not be able to find it. And that's about, it. you know, a lot of people will, in that day, want to seek answers. It's time to seek the answers now. It's time to, 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 to watch, pray, and be sold. A lot of people still are not seeing, you know, these mandates are reinstated. You know, they're already talking about, you know, uh, you know, you putting a mask back on. All these things already been engineered from the left hand side. And also the devil's getting ready to fill his belly. And that's about we constantly warning you left and right. And that's about it. He's getting ready to come down with that, with that great wrath. You know, so everything is set into motion. And that's about it. people are still, you know, watching the day. People just at lounging, you know, sleeping, laying around, slumbering. You know, being late and everybody just constantly sleeping and everybody, the Lord is almost here. And everybody, the men of the Lord, we're constantly signing and crying left and right, warning before destruction. And everybody, we constantly warn you left and right. And a lot of people would not get it this time around. And the Lord is getting ready to pull this truth out of the earth. Even right now, it is convenient. You know what I'm saying? You can watch the video. All you must do, go on YouTube, press whoever you like the best. It's just, it's love at your fingertips. And everybody, the Lord had laid it out for you. And everybody, you still are not uh, uh, seeking the Lord. You still are not considered. You're still thinking that you're a good cake because you have plenty right now. And everybody, starvation is coming back. You know, food short. We concentrate these mandates, the, uh, the unrighteous decrees, all these things get ready to come down on great persecution and death. And everybody, we're constantly warning you. Like we, even though we'll sound like a broken wreck, we're telling you. That is getting ready to happen because we totally believe the house of David, the elect, and that's about we're ready to get out of here, but you still are at ease. You comfortable here and you getting ready to die here. So now let's go to uh one moment. Let's go to uh uh Psalm chapter 91. Just a quick lesson through the spirit. Psalm chapter 91. Psalm chapter 91, one moment. Psalm chapter 91. We'll start up at the top at verse 1. And it reads, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Verse 2, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power. In him will I trust. Verse 3, surely he shall deliver thee from the snares of the fowl and from the noose and pestle. And I, that's what's coming down the uh, pipeline. I, he will save you from the red devil. You know, the so-called white man, the devil speaks of. And that's about who is in the secret place, dwelling in that secret place each and every day. That is the house of David elect, the prophets. We're constantly making these videos, constantly warning you. You know, we're not at ease. You know, we're in the house of murk. And that's about, you know, we have that Holy Spirit upon us. And that's about, we'll stand on fire for your house. By Hashem, your house. We constantly are uh, doing the work, you know, you know, faith and work. Work hand in hand. And a lot of people don't have faith. A lot of people don't have a works. And that's about it. It will cause your demise. You love that broad gate. You know what I don't no one want to suffer. No no one want to have levels of adiv uh, 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 adversity. And that's about it. You know, you know, we're being tried as gold is tried in the fire. And that's about it. the truth there, the one that is at ease, the one that's not disturbed, not worried. And that's about it. They're getting ready to go through that physical fire. He said they would know it, death by pain. We warning you left and right. The second death is coming. It's coming at a fast pace. All these evils are constantly growing around us. But a lot of people are still are just laid back, you know, drinking, having a good time, smoking weed, you know, going, doing all sorts of things that displease to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. You will not give him any of your time. And I don't know. When he returns, he's not going to give you any of his time. The kingdom of heaven is right at hand. The Lord is coming with that great reward. And your reward is coming. And I don't know that is the lake of fire. We cuss the warning you left and right. But you still are thinking that this is game. And I don't know the games are about almost over. So now, let's go to uh, one moment. Let's go to uh, Proverbs. One moment. Let's go to Proverbs chapter uh 27. Proverbs chapter 27. One moment. Proverbs chapter 27. And we'll start up. One moment. 27 and verse 12. Proverbs chapter 27 and verse 12. One moment. And it reads, A prudent man foresees the evil and hides himself, but 
the simple pass on and are punished. And I did say, you know, they are passing on because that is about the Lord is bringing that judgment down. And the, the, the prudent man, which in fact is the wise man, who is the wise man? The elect. And I did about the prophets. You know what I'm saying? We are signing crime left and right. We're warning. We foreseeing the dangers that, that is getting ready to come. And I did about we seeing it all around us. And I did about these mandates, unrighteous decrees. You know what I'm saying? Everyone is getting ready to make a decision. We're not being able to buy a city. We're not being able to go into a city. We constantly warn you left and right because they're about. Because when the Lord brings this judgment, it will be no more talk. And that's about. He said, first my judgment, once again, will start at the house of Israel. Judgment has already begun, but it's getting ready to go on a mass level. Great death, great mourning is right upon us. And that's about. You know, a lot of people still are in these churches, in these harlot houses. And that's about. You know, still a. Uh, uh, being rocked back to sleep, the blind leading the blind, and everybody, you know, we constantly warn you left and right. Pastor Porkchop, he's not in the street. He's eating at a restaurant, drinking wine, telling you lies, and, you know, each and every day, constantly filling his belly, and everybody, he's getting ready to be destroyed right along with his love, white man Jesus, and also the red devil that the Bible speaks of, the so-called white man, and everybody, we constantly warn you left and right, but you hate him that rebukes at the gate, and everybody, it's getting ready to be a thing of the past, and everybody, we constantly warn you left and right, we constantly foreseeing the danger all around us. We know that it's very close. And now that we are vaccinated the spirit, we are ready to go. We are hastening that great and glorious return of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh. We're ready to get out of here. We are not at ease. This is not our risk. We constantly warn you left and right by a lot of people. We love you here and you get ready to die here. And everybody, we constantly warn you left and right. You don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear that at all. All you want to hear is the good time road, drinking, being merry. And I did about the Lord is getting ready to destroy this place. Everything that you see in front of you, this is the temple world. Everything, all this house, everything that I have, all this is getting ready to go. And I did about it, including you. And I did about it, you still are not believing. You still don't have the faith. That's all right. The Lord is getting ready to destroy this place with that fervent heat. Judgment is getting ready to begin. So now, let's go to all. Uh, one moment, one moment. Let's go to, <clears throat> one moment. Let's go to uh, Psalm chapter uh, 94 before we close out. Let's get a precept. Psalm chapter, Psalm chapter 94. One moment, Psalm chapter 94. And we'll start at verse, at verse seven. Psalm chapter 94, and we'll start at verse seven. And it reads, yet they say the Lord shall not see Neither shall uh, the Most High of Jacob uh, regard it. And that about they still uh, know. Oh, that's not going to happen. I don't know what they're talking about. They're talking about oh, we got to you know that uh, that the Lord he's getting ready to return. He's going to destroy everything. What they talking about? It's not no World War Three. Oh, uh, the Lord he's not going to do it. He love everyone. You know what I'm saying? You know he, he's coming back. He he's going to get everyone. Everyone can receive salvation. You know they showing no regard. And that about they're not searching for the true because they, they laid back and everybody know they thinking that everything is going to be all right but you know great death and destruction is right upon suddenly so let's read that once again psalm chapter 94 and verse 7 yet they say the lord shall not see neither shall uh the power of jacob re regard it and everybody you know they thinking that the lord not seeing what they're doing and the lord already said you know behold his eyes is on that sinful kingdom and everybody you know he's seeing all the wickedness all the uh, iniquities that, that's being done here. And I about it, you know, the Lord is very displeased. And I about it, he say he's angry with the wicked each and every day. You wicked Negro, you wicked Negro uh, women. And I about it, he's getting ready to lay this place down. Constantly warn you, left and right. And I about it, you are still uh, in your leaves, of relaxing, sleeping, you know what I'm saying? Slumbering, reprobate, useless eaters. And I about it, the Lord is getting ready to get rid of all that. Ain't none of that will enter into the kingdom of heaven. No, sir. And I about it, you know, if you you do not have this great wisdom and knowledge in you, you know what I'm saying, and you full of that Holy Spirit, the Lord's getting ready to lay you down. Who we, we we cannot wait. So now let's start back. I don't mean to be rambling. Uh, Psalm chapter 91. I mean, Psalm chapter 94, and we'll start back up at verse 9. And it reads, He that planteth the ear shall shall he not hear. He that form the eye, shall he not see? So a lot of people are not are hearing, are not seeing, because they're about the Lord has gave them that strong uh, delusion so they can believe a lot. So that about we're not even worried about them anymore. Two thirds is getting ready to be cut off. So now let's start back up. Psalm chapter 94, and we'll start back up at verse 10. He that chasten the heathen shall not correct, shall not, shall not he correct, 
He that uh, teaches man knowledge shall not he know. So that everybody, you know, the Lord, the knowledge is, 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 is going out throughout the entire world. And that about Lord chastening who he loved. And that about he also, he's getting ready to chastise the two thirds. And that about you know, we come to the one, we read upon that time. And that about the Lord is getting ready to return. We constantly warn you, left and right. The kingdom of heaven is almost here. And I about we almost out of here. The Lord is getting ready. Woo! Man, he getting ready to do a mighty work. So let's start back up. Psalm chapter 94, and we'll start back up uh, at, at verse 11. The Lord knows the thoughts of man, that they are vanity. Verse 12, blessed is the man whom thou chasteneth, O Lord, and teaches him out of, of thy law. And that about, that's talking about the elect, the house of day, the prophets, the believers, the true believers of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, we are in the house of mercy. We're not at ease. We are watching, praying, and being sold, being circumspect, you know, redeeming the time, wives, measuring the time uh, diligently. Because we know that we are in the evil time. They're coming. And that, and that about that. When the devil come down with that great wrath, a lot of people are getting ready to be slaughtered. Woo, we cannot wait. The Lord is the, all the reprobates, all the good for nothing, all the despisers. It's getting ready to be a thing of the past. And I didn't bother that. We constantly warn you left and right. And, and a lot of people will not get it this time around. Don't have the faith. You know what I'm saying? They're a faint heart. And I didn't bother. Constantly going on in the ways of this wicked kingdom. Friends with this world. Your enemy to your howl. By Hashem, your howl shot. And I didn't bother. Elect. We are blessed. And I didn't bother. We are following the ways of the Lord. The best of our ability. Actually, the Lord have mercy upon us each and every day. Through the spirit and power of your howl. By Hashem, your howl So let's drop down to Psalm chapter uh, 94. And we'll drop down to verse 16. And it reads, Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? And that's, about, that's the elect. We're standing up for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh We're standing in great boldness in front of the one that afflicted us, the one that oppressed us, the one that's trying to constantly uh, take us out. You know, they're trying to perform their enterprise. But the Lord's getting ready uh, to, to, to interrupt their plans and, about, and snatch him out of rulership. And that's about, a lot of people are ashamed. They, they, they don't want to stand up for the Lord. They don't want to have anything to do uh, 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 with their heritage. And that's about, they don't know who they are, still calling themselves, you know, African American. Still thinking that they're niggas, spicks and coon. And I about still have that same mindset. And I, that's why the Lord said, who will stand up for me? And I, who will stand up for rights? It's the house of David, the elect. So now, let's go to our last and final strip. Let's go to uh, Isaiah chapter 5. We close out here. Just a quick lesson through the spirit. Isaiah chapter 5. One moment. Isaiah chapter 5. One moment. Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 19. Isaiah chapter, no, Salah, Isaiah chapter 5 and verse, we'll start, we'll start at verse, one moment, we'll start at verse 19, Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 19, and it reads, that say, let him make speed and hasten his work that we may see it, and let the counsel of the Holy One of Israel draw now or draw near and come that we may know it. And that about it. that's what we're waiting on. The elect. We're not at ease. You know, we ready. You know, we 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 constantly watch. We 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 hasten. You know what I'm saying? We ready to go. And that about it. You know, we ready for the Lord to, to show up. You know what I'm saying? We ready for the Lord uh, 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 to get us out of this uh wicked kingdom, get us out of these chains of dark. We ready to get back in our first state. A lot of people are still want to be here in this in this mindset, in this nightmare, and they get ready to be destroyed. So let's start back up. Isaiah chapter 15 and verse 20. We'll start back up at uh, Isaiah Salak, Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 20. We'll start back up here. And it reads, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and, and light for darkness, and that, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. And that's, about, that's talking about the two dirty, the one that, that is at ease, at, at their leisure, just relax, having a great old time. Not consider, you know, uh, despising the word. Don't fear the Lord. You know, just going on in the way like this word gonna go on forever. And I didn't about that. They quick to do evil, but they hate to do good. And I didn't about that. They hate the men of the Lord, but it's getting ready to be a time of the end. So now the Lord is getting ready to punish them. So now, uh, Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 21. And it reads, Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. You know what I mean? Wise in their wit. Wickedness, no, they love wickedness, know how to do wickedness. Verse 22, woe to them that are mighty to drink wine and, and men of strength 
to mingle strong drink. Verse 23, which uh, uh, justify the wicked for reward and take away the righteousness of the righteous from him. Verse 24, therefore, as the fire devoured the stubble and the flame consumes the chaff, so their root shall be as rottenness and their blossom shall go up as dust because they have cast away the law of the Lord of hosts and despised the word of the Holy One of Israel, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. So that everybody, you know, a lot of people are still not weird, still uh, 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 don't uh, help, uh, still thinking that they're a good case. You know, uh, they are just in, 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 in that mindset. You know, you tell them that the Lord is getting ready to return. You know, you know, hey, hey salvation is here. And everybody, they don't want to hear that. You tell them that the so-called white man is the devil. You tell them that you don't read upon this Catholic society. You tell them all these things, you know, till you get blue in the face. And everybody, they are still at, at E. And the Lord is getting ready to destroy them. And everybody, you know, we cannot wait. And so we are here. We're going to constantly push this truth. We're asking the Lord to have mercy upon us each and every. We hasten his great glory return. We know he's close, even though, you know, we we, we, we keep walking uh, in the spirit each and every day. We keep meditating day and night, this great wisdom. We keep pushing, even though we battle. And I didn't battle, you know, he said, the, he said the same day to do it, the same shall be saved. So the title of the day lesson, once again, the Lord will punish the men that are settled on their leaves. So I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, with Kakadash. I like to say, shalom.